a number of years ago, a gentleman came to Boston on a Fulbright scholarship, and he was a Marxist economist from China. And he came to study democracy of all of the strange topics. And we got to know him quite well. And as we came to the end of his year, we invited him to dinner. And Christine and I asked him, so of all the things that you learned about democracy while you were in Boston, is there anything that just surprised you that you'd never thought about before? And without any hesitation, he said, yeah. I had no idea how critical democracy is to the functioning of religion. And I never put these things together. But it's like this guy parachutes in from Mars, you know, and this is what he observes. That democracy doesn't work unless you have, as a foundation, religion. And he said there are really two ways to create a, prop, uh, a peaceful and prosperous nation. One is to be Singapore, where you have somebody who is in charge and everybody follows the rules. But he said the other option is democracy. And the, the problem with democracy is it's organized so that the government doesn't oversee everything that we do. But it works because in our past, we were taught by people that we believed that we need to voluntarily choose to obey the laws because the system won't demand it of us. We have to voluntarily choose to obey the law. And there was a time in our past when our religions instilled that into us. So we had responsibility not to society, but God will hold us accountable. And because we were taught that we should voluntarily choose to obey the law, democracy works and capitalism works. And when we have tried in any degree of length to create capitalism or democracy without that foundation, it, it's, it's, life has been a, a very tenuous endeavor. And I think that at least we have words in this discussion yesterday and today that we need to truly bring in this sense that we are accountable to somebody higher than society, that we, we need to hold ourselves or to have God hold us accountable. Uh, Gary, do you have one thing that you want to take away or give away here? I want to 100% agree with what Clay just said. You know, if you go back and you read Adam Smith or you read de Tocqueville, all of them said that free markets, open markets, democracy cannot exist without a deep moral foundation. And one of the questions I think, certainly as Western society, we have to ask is, how over time do we refresh that moral capital, that spiritual capital, which in many ways may be eroding? Let me not go any further than that. No, it is, it is eroding. It is eroding. So I, I agree.